In a moment, you will imagine taking a walk through the woods. This exercise is to assist with making decisions and life choices. It is to help change thinking regarding decisions. So often, people are fearful of making a choice because they might make a mistake. They view decisions as risk and think risks should be avoided because something bad can happen. Instead, the avoidance of risk prevents the pursuit of opportunities. This exercise helps with changing the thinking that interferes with this aspect of decision-making. Allow yourself to experience what I describe uncritically. First, allow yourself to get in a comfortable position and close your eyes. Begin by focusing on your breathing. As you do, your breath will begin to slow and become more rhythmic. With each breath you take, you find yourself relaxing more and more. As you exhale, you feel the muscles of your body loosening and relaxing. Your mind becomes more clear and focused with each breath. Allow yourself to appreciate each breath, noticing the air as it comes into your body and flows into your lungs. As you slowly inhale and exhale, allow yourself to relish the full breath. Notice the movement of your chest and abdomen as the air comes into your body and leaves your body. So refreshing, so soothing. Notice the loosening and relaxing of the muscles in your chest each time you exhale. Just a pleasant sensation of relaxation. As you continue to breathe slowly and focus on the experience of your breath, just let all other thoughts go. Whenever a thought comes into your mind, just refocus on your current experience. Right now, that experience is focusing on each breath and the relaxation that begins to flow through your body each time you exhale. If other thoughts come to mind as you listen to this audio, that is okay. Just gently allow yourself to refocus back to the audio when you notice the other thoughts. As you continue to breathe slowly, allow yourself to focus on the scene that I described to you. Imagine that you are in a meadow surrounded by woods. As you look around the meadow, you see wildflowers of different colors yellow, white, pink, blue, orange, purple. You notice the green of the surrounding plants and trees contrasting with the blue sky. 
An occasional white, wispy cloud floats across the sky. It is a very pleasant day. A gentle breeze is blowing. You notice the wildflowers softly swaying with the kiss of the breeze. You smell the sweet aroma of the wildflowers amidst the stronger smell of the grasses and earth. You hear the leaves of the trees as they rustle against one another. You feel the warmth of the sun on your face. It feels so good to enjoy the sensation of warmth from the sun with the cooling touch of the breeze. Throughout the meadow, you see butterflies of all sizes, patterns, and colors flitting from flower to flower. Occasionally, you see birds of yellow or brown or blue or red flying overhead and calling out. You hear the squirrels chattering in the trees and see them chasing one another, seemingly flying from tree to tree. You walk across the meadow towards the woods. With each step you take, you relax more and more. With each step, you appreciate the beauty of this moment. You relish the colors and the sounds and the smells and the textures of everything around you. As you walk, you examine the woods along the edge of the meadow. You see a variety of trees towering into the sky. The big oak trees spreading their branches wide. The symmetrical maples with their jagged leaves. The shaggy bark hickories with branches full of nuts. The stately soaring walnuts with lace-like leaves. You also see several different openings into the woods. Along the edge of the woods, you see smaller redbud trees with their heart-shaped leaves framing the entrance to a path. Long seed pods hang from the branches which shelter the opening. The path between the redbuds looks like a well-traveled, hard-packed path, wide enough for two people to walk side by side. You peer through the trees and see the path winding invitingly around the large trees in an easy, lazy pattern. To one side of the meadow, you see another opening into the woods. Along the sides of this path are large limestone boulders. The path is narrow and rocky. You can see that it climbs a hill with evergreen trees clinging perilously to the boulders along the sides. The path consists of irregular steps of stone, some a few inches high and some a couple feet some rectangular, some circular, some narrow, some wide. Almost as someone had tried to build a staircase from stones laying nearby. To the other side of the meadow, you barely see the opening into the woods. The path is overgrown with weeds. 
You see vines hanging from the trees, sometimes blocking the path. The vines need to be pushed aside to walk the path, which is hardly visible as you look into the woods. The path is dark from the dense foliage that has overgrown it and blocked out the sunlight. Each of these paths offers a different experience. One is not necessarily better or worse. Each are just different. New things can be discovered and learned on each path. What appears one way at the beginning of the path may be different later on. Each path is different, and yet each is the same. Each path is hard in spots and easier in others. There is no perfect path, just different paths. There can't be a perfect path because different people would define that differently. For some, perfect means walking a wide path on level ground. For others, it means climbing over boulders and difficult terrain. For others, it might be raining and listening to the water splashing on the leaves overhead. For others, it is walking new territory. Any path you choose just contains different experiences. Some people, when they travel a path, they only want to get to the end. They expect that the end of the path will provide them with what they desire. Their entire focus is on what the end of the path provides. By doing so, they miss the true purpose of the path. Because the reward isn't at the end of the path, it is the path itself. As you travel the path, explore it. Find what is unexpected. Be surprised. Be delighted by the unexpected and unusual. It doesn't always have to be pleasant. Even the unpleasant can provide opportunity and possibility. Anybody can explore the pleasant, easy path, but it is when the path has unanticipated twists and turns that you are willing to investigate that you can discover something new. The outcomes of all the paths are different and yet the same. Each path offers different experiences as you pass through life. All experiences have value if you choose to make it so. In fact, the people who are just trying to get to the end of the path don't realize that the end of the path is not really an outcome at all, but just a stopping place on a larger path. All paths are the same because there isn't a place you should get to, but only the experiences you have on the way. Each path is of value because it provides you with unique experiences. This is your journey. It does not need to be what someone else thinks it should be. It does not need to be the path that others pursue. It is uniquely yours. And because it is yours, it has value. Appreciate all aspects of your journey, even when it becomes difficult, especially when it becomes difficult. Because overcoming the challenge is what provides you with your unique story. As you stand at the edge of the woods, 
examining the different paths, you know that whatever you choose is okay. Each path will bring new experiences. Some you will like and some you won't. But all tolerable and all worthwhile because all of life is just different experiences. What you choose to do with those experiences is up to you. Choose a path and begin to explore it. Allow yourself to experience all that is there. As you walk the path, Allow yourself to experience it without judgment or expectation. It is easy to see the opening to the path and expect it to be a certain way. But instead, allow yourself to experience the uniqueness this particular path has to offer. The path does not have to meet an expectation for it to have value. You can choose to see value in all experiences. When you do, life opens up in unexpected ways. As you travel each path, notice everything, no matter how small, no matter how seemingly insignificant, If you meet anyone on the path, approach that person as if you have never met anyone else before. In other words, without expectations based on past experiences. Listen to your inner voice about each person you meet without prior judgments, positive or negative. Your inner voice will guide you along the path, but you need to fully listen. Don't ignore doubts, but don't let doubts consume you and lead you away from the path that you choose. Sometimes you might choose to cross over to a nearby path or go back to the meadow and start a new path. That is okay too. But keep in mind that it is no more perfect than the path you are on. Each path provides unique experiences of all sorts, sometimes enjoyable, sometimes painful, sometimes easy, sometimes hard. But each path is similar in that way. As you listen to this audio at different times, allow yourself to explore the different paths. Just as life presents different challenges and opportunities that aren't always readily apparent, each path may offer unexpected surprises. When you can approach the path without expectation, you can be open to whatever it has to offer. When you have life choices to make, uncertainty about decisions, allow yourself to come to this place and explore the paths. No matter what path you choose, it can have value for you if you let it. Only when you expect a certain outcome from a choice or decision can you be disappointed. If you open yourself up to the wonder of all experience, you will learn and grow and create and flourish.